streaming again? Uh, right in the middle, right in the middle of a great scene, huh? From the smash hit Batman Forever. Smash. And I'll bet you saw it, didn't you? Ten times. <laughs> Only ten? In but guess what? Tony worked on this beauty. Do you know Sega made about 2,500 of them? Very low production run. And I can actually probably tell you why. Back then it was lit by the 44 bulb. Mm. But Tony, what have you done? Well, of course we LED. Yes, but beautiful. You've extra super white. Yeah, we color. got the super brights, the mm -hmm. color match all the way throughout. Um, and I, even the added ones back there to light up the back of the machine. See, as so well. that was the all bendies. added. Yes. Bendies. All added. Isn't that nice? Now, Tony, I see you're reflecting them off the top. Mm -hmm. So you get that beautiful 3D effect. Mm -hmm. Boy, God, it looks gorgeous. And then the only difference in the back box that we did, we added some purples in here, but then we added some color changers. Right here, actually added a light and put three color changers down here, which makes that all this area right here look real nice. Changing color. color well, wait a minute, wait a minute. A cigarette, another one? We don't smoke, smoke here. <laughs> and you owe me $13.99. $13.99? You used my word, Mendy's? It's Ugh. trademark. Trademark. Cash. That means if any of you use Bendy's, you have to send him a check. I'll send you one of Todd's checks. Uh, uh, Made of rubber? <laughs> Made of rubber. I already did that joke. Weren't you listening? Nope. You'd be better off sending him a bag full He's of back. rusty pinballs. He's back in his corner. Uh, He's back. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Geese. Did you, uh, Fog's rolling did. in. Uh, 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 coming in. <laughs> and the other peanut gallery. Uh, uh, oh. oh. Now, how are you going to fix that? Steve will touch it up. Department. That's not my department to fix it. Here, wait a minute. I think, oh, no. <laughs> we, have, we have new art. It's getting brand new side art, isn't it? He's got it right there. Brand new side art. Uh, we live in a drive. Live in a drive. All right. Let's get back. Got brand new side art. We got a brand new check. Should I? Where's the check? Where's the check? Not the one. Don't mess with Wallace. Not, the, not the one that bounced. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're going to be making this buttery. You see this here? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to. This is going to take care of that. <sighs> we should check in on that. That ice cold beer is going out Monday. Monday, December thirty first. That means I'm going to work tomorrow too. Look at poor Tony. Look at this poor man. Look at this beautiful game. And, and listen to our heater has started. Let me turn that. Well, it's only two it degrees outside. A little bit about it. A little bit about it. I think it speaks for itself, <laughs> huh? It does. Not, again, high intensity LEDs throughout, cleaned up. Uh, talked about the Adelaide. Did all the ramps repainted, clear coated? Oh yes, let it yes, sit. you did the ramps. Mm -hmm. You took all the ramps off. We also did the green rubber rubbers here. And tell them how you did the ramps. You took them all yeah, off. I had to take them all off. Did two coats of primer, let that dry overnight. Did two coats of the color, let that dry overnight. Two coats of clear, let that dry overnight. It's a hell of a lot of drying. Mm -hmm. And it's if almost you as dry as your jokes. Ooh. If you don't, that's when they chip and rub, and then it gets on the ball, and then it gets it all over your play field. So you have to, have to, have to let it dry at least 24 hours. What, you mean not a, 24 minutes before the game goes out the door? No. You know, there is a problem hours. with spending all this time on this machine, Tony. The man getting it is liable not to trade it back to us. See, that's how we make our money. When they trade in a beautiful game that we don't have to go completely berserk on again. Because technically, any game that we have shopped, whoever gets it and resells it, they have to do virtually nothing to it because we, we cover every aspect mm -hmm. of these games when we, when we overhaul them. All new parts on the flippers, the plungers and links. Mm -hmm. um, boy, it's, it's a beauty. Now, Tony, I'm keeping him here because he has to help us because there are so many rule sets on this. This is loaded with programming. Yes. And one big reason is, is because they have this giganto 
I knew TNT were. I thought that was your nickname in high school. Gigantor was a Japanese cartoon. Listen, Tubbs. You know, he's lost a lot of weight. He has. He's, he's getting slender on me. I'll have to take him and fill him up with pizza. We went to Pizza Hut last night. Let's see. All right. Back to the game. Okay. All right. Here but we Tony go. Tony doesn't want to work till nine tonight. Giganto. Giganto. Talk about it. Yes. How many games did that? There's just four. We have Babe Watch. The first one, Maverick. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you can tell the fourth one. Oh, this one. Well, yeah. And? And Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Mm. That's Frankenstein. Yes. And ability to play six players mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. display is so big. It was, it was very costly, though, a lot more programming. Plus, as you can obviously see, the dots are closer together. So it is technically it's on the borderline of medium resolution. Mm -hmm. Plus, I think uh, IPDB says it has its own 68,000 processor to drive it. it it's amazing. It's so look, look at that. Look at that. All the cast and characters, all in digital 52 channel stereo. One of the last games, by the way, to actually play stereo sound. Uh, and then they went to what everybody loves, mono fun. When they when they got to the smaller heads, I think the first mono game was uh, Goldeneye. They got rid of that pesky stereo soundboard. Anyway, Tony, let's capture the ball. <laughs> Tony is going to now explain our skill shot to get at the very beginning. You get a choice after it's all done. By moving with the flippers here, you can pick which one you want. So if you do the Gotham event here, so this one's locked in here, if you shoot it, you'll get your question marks. So, so we're gonna lock it in. And the only way to get it now is to... For this, since you got it locked in, you gotta hit all of your question marks. Okay? And you get a bonus when you have the time limit to do it, okay? And now you have to make the right loop. This was the ball. My extra ball is lit. As you can hear, I'm right there. Close. Dang. I'm close again. Yep. So now that that event is complete, as you can see here, it's lit two face. Every time the pop bumper hits, it changes. If you want to lock it in, you use the trigger to run into the rooftop. So if you do the rooftop chase, and you use your trigger lock and it locks it in. Okay? And then it'll have your Gotham event. So if you hit all of your question marks, you light up Gotham event. And then you shoot it around. And you have to so try to has get to stay it in the hole. Tony mentioned it. And it didn't, young man. It, it did not. Try it again. So you gotta try it again. You gotta get up there with enough force. Now that it's in, you stop chasing. I happen to be terrific with this. Here's the video mode. Oh, there's the ball. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of like you're driving your car. I, I got 19 million, though. 19 million. Bone so, head. again, here, you can see as it's hitting, it's changing each one of the modes. And then you can use the, again, the gun to lock it in. So, you yeah. have. Let's do Brain Drain. Brain Drain Brain is very clever. It uses these oh. few targets. Locked in. Locked in. So again, you have to hit every one of your question marks. And then it'll light, it'll light Gotham event. And then again, you have to shoot up and around to lock it in. And it starts here. But look, you gotta do it in sequence, yes. Tony. So K, you want to spell it. Okay? But you have to do it in sequence. You do the C and the A. But let's say you missed the V. You have to start all over again. Ugh. It resets it every time. So you have to hit the C, the A, the V, and then the E, and you get your bonus and completed event. Now, Tony, this is just one thing. How about the coins, the bad head and the good heads? You want to try to match them up. When you hit, you got to hit the what right you match. Do? So you hit. See, there's a bad head yeah. and a good head. Yeah. And if you hit the bad, when you were supposed to, it resets. So now you got to hit both good heads. So if you hit a good head, and then the bad doesn't count. But if you hit the 
good and laughs good. at you. You get it locked in. He does laugh at you, doesn't he? Fortune piled on you, my friend. Yeah, wow, all the stuff. There's a lot yeah. of how about, how about getting this puppy working? The lock will light once you spell cave outside of the brain dream. So, all right, it's inside the bad cave. We got our second ball. So if you spell cave again, lock is that our lock in. again? And you can. We'll go in there. We'll go into the back cave again. Shoots it off around. Two. Locks it in. Eject. Give it another ball. Again. The third ball is already lock lit. So you can just get it in there. There we go. Monkey ball. Right Monkey into ball. Ball. the bat cave. Now watch the shot as it releases using the hur hurricane-like shot here. Then he, he puts the bat dad motorcycle sound as it zips around out of the cave. Just as though he's leaving the bat cave in a big rush. Is that feeling good, Tony? Are we doing great, Tony? You're amazing. Really? No. And the last thing we should see is this effect here. Now, this diverter here is used for that effect. You see how if you go around this center loop, the arm bat wing right here, while that's blinking, if you go up and around, now watch we'll get this the work. Diverter. Look at that. Now, what should I aim for? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hit the hole. Here we go. I'm gonna go for the hole. I know, and I was going for the ramp, ramp. Going for the ramp. Well, are you impressed now, folks? With Batman Forever? Only 2,500, about 2,500 made. How many of those got jumped? Don't know. We don't know. Nobody really knows what's happened to these machines. Uh, we've only had, gosh, maybe three pass through here. I, I didn't do a count because I knew we had one. We had one pass through here in the uh, spring. Very nice. Well, Tony, I think the next thing to do is to show them all the remarkable oh, work in the head. And these are the Don't be a sore loser, Bruce. Ones that I added. These I added, are the ones he added. And that's the one I added right in there and tied them all in. So they've been added. Isn't that a beautiful game over? This has the smaller power supply. Uh, that assists this one with the 5 volts. It's a beefier 5 volt supply, but I'm going to show you something. All the big, uh, all these big displays have one quirk. This 5 volt plug, you have to put new pins in. You have to. You got to put a new connector on. They go, they, they go bad. And right here, on the display itself, this gets ice cold here. And it's very difficult to re-solder those, unfortunately. But if you change this connector and reflow solder on the five pins below that board, the game will probably run for another hundred years. And there's that magnificent, wonderful uh, Data East soundboard with a stereo channel. I wish they kept the game stereo, but you know, things have to change. Up here we have our logic board uh, that we've reheated all the connectors on. We've done the same with all these. And the PPB board, uh, the, uh, this dissipates. The, these are actually for all the flash lamps. That's what these do. So these run the hunt. Huh? Who's whispering? Nothing. Nobody's whispering. Oh, see that relay? You got to reheat that. It gets ice cold over the years. I suppose I shouldn't pull the old "Let's write a letter to Sega" joke. Uh, anyway, um, Tony. Why? Listen, you rudely interrupted me earlier. Rudely interrupted while I was having a good time. So I think it would only be right that I return. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive-through. Ooh, more power!